So let's see your steak, guys. I have a ribeye here. Room temp, pat it dry, take a whole head of garlic, cut it in half, and in a preheated skillet, add some olive oil, and then the cut side of the garlic goes down. Salt, just salt your steak, place that down in the oil, and then we take that skillet and put it in our preheated maestro. Look at those fireworks from the steak. Uh, now, as you're cooking this, obviously, depending on the temperature that you want the inside of the steak to be, you're gonna leave it in for longer uh, or less, but just make sure that you are searing each side. Get a nice crust on this. It's being seared on top and on the bottom at the same time. So this is a great way to make steaks. Remove it, wrap it, and let it rest. Now, while that is resting, our garlic head, we pull off all the burnt peel and then cut off the burnt ends on the bottom, but the garlic itself, that meat, has roasted wonderfully. Take that out, place it right in some mayonnaise, and whip it good. Whip it up to make that garlic aioli. This is gonna be great for our steak sandwiches. Take your steak out of the aluminum foil and slice that bad boy up. Look at these juices. Now, I typically like it uh, rarer than this, but I'm showing about a medium rare and for effect, slow-mo salt drop. Now, we have our steak, we have some focaccia. Let's make a sandwich. Here is our steak sandwich with focaccia. My wife and I both love this. You should try it out. Check out the recipe online. Have a good one.